I sat on one of these one time, but the chain was real rusty and the thing broke. And uh, <laughs> I didn't include that in the video. <laughs> good so far. Hope y'all having a great day out there. It's JP and we are in Metairie and we have yet another beehive and a playhouse. This is uh, that I know of the third playhouse that I removed bees from and it looks like we have a hive that goes back about seven or eight boards. So they're either you know seven or eight boards this way or maybe not quite but uh, from all accounts the bees haven't been here very long maybe a couple of months or so is what the homeowners are telling me. So we're going to do our thing. I got a uh, six frame uh, nucleus box. We're going to put them in today. And uh, the boards are put down with screws. So I'll unscrew the boards and just kind of pick them up. Hope y'all enjoy the video. Here we go. All right, and here's our entrance right here on the corner. Let's watch them come and go, folks. Most of them are kind of coming back right now. It is overcast. Maybe these bees are pretty intelligent. I mean, they're definitely intelligent creatures, but uh, they're coming back in. Mostly, I don't see too many going back out. So maybe they were early risers and they're coming in to take a, a, a siesta. <laughs> maybe they're coming in for the evening nap. All right, this is what uh, everything looks like. We're gonna go ahead and unscrew these boards. And uh, I think I'll start back there actually and work this way is what we'll do. Camera was right. Don't go <laughs> back that far. Huh? Yeah. Well, I got bees coming out anyway. <laughs> That's right at yep. Right there. That's the end of it. stops right there folks. Look how pretty and white it is. Alright, let's proceed forward. See how white that comb is? Yeah. yeah. That's new comb. That's new? New. Yeah. When they just throw it up like that, it's white. Of course, this is the last comb section that they built. So they stored them. You know, the combs over there might be a little bit darker. Yeah, a lot of bees, huh? Probably more than what we were thinking, huh? Because they're not real, real active, you know? We may not uh, we may not frame anything up here. I'll probably give them a, a frame of honey uh, later on because uh, these comb sections are probably tell me for shallows. And I, don't, I don't have any shallow frames. Uh, I haven't have used them. And these are much shorter than mediums. So and we got a deep box. So uh, we'll probably just shake the bees, get, get our queen in the box, and. Uh, like I said, we're gonna we're not gonna use these comb sections. You wanna lay it out here? How about that? Yeah, I'll just I'll just lay it right here. 
see that box has six frames in it, you know? Uh -huh. They're they're about this deep though. So these combs are too shallow, so I'm not gonna be able to use them. But uh, they'll make more combs. They're not afraid to work. <laughs> I'll take the box and I'll set it up. Inside there. I'll situate it to where the entrance of the box is pretty much where the entrance is right now. That way there's no confusion. <laughs> When they come back, they should go right in. And this little thing right here is what we call a hair clip queen catcher. I'll cage her and I'll put her in the setup. That way, for some reason, they decide they don't want to stay in the box. Well, if they leave the setup, they have to come back unless there's a second queen. Occasionally, that does happen. All right, that's Arthur. And who am I? Dawn. That's, that's, that's right. Dawn. Dawn called me. And uh, is that your son? Yeah. Okay, a couple of neighbors. Uh, relatives. These are my parents. Hey, they live next door. Good. My mom and dad and my sister that live next door. This show beats uh, watching coronavirus updates, Absolutely. huh? Uh, yeah, yeah. For sure. All right, like uh, Mutual Elmo is Wild Kingdom, huh? <laughs> <laughs> who first noticed the bees? I did. I did with my granddaughters. Yeah. No, okay. Just a few at that time. Yeah. And you said that was like a couple of months ago. Yeah, right? over a couple of months. Yeah. Okay. And then it kept getting more and more. <laughs> All right. Well, the nice and calm bees. We left them on the tent yeah. because we don't use the place yeah. set that often. Y'all been singing to them? You keep them calm like this? Because they sure are nice and calm and gentle. Well, we didn't disturb them. We didn't spray them or we didn't try to run yeah. them out or yeah. cover Fantastic. them up. Or... I appreciate that. All right. Well, let's get back to it. We got a little mildew on the ground there, it looks like. There's some mold, as you can see. It's growing on top of that, uh, that mulch or whatever that is. Weird. That's for maybe the last time it rained or something. going to stack them up here folks so some of the bees naturally going to congregate over here where the hive is and then some of them will stay on the boards and some of them will stay on the combs and once we get all this out like I said I'll position the nuke box over here see if we can't get a queen and uh, cage or put her in the setup and uh, knock this out Just fell on the on the ground right here. Nice little pile of them. See them just kind of. Oh, that was a nice clump. It must have fallen off this piece here. You know, maybe the queens on this piece. I don't know yet. It was kind of bunched up. And now they're kind of running back that way. See what it's looking like, folks. Look, these are kind of orienting. They're running over. They're probably going to try to run back over this way. <laughs> how they do that, huh? And so the social insects that they are, you know, they're, yeah, they're, they're gonna make their way over here and try to group up. Just like when you shake a swarm and they split up, if there's not more than one queen, they'll wind up forming uh, one ball again. What's that? Why was that hive so much lighter than that previous one that was so dark? The last two were so black. Did they work in that um, more or just an older hive? Well, there's, there's brood in these. Bees go through complete metamorphosis. And so there's some cocoons. As the cocoons build up in the cells, they kind of darken the comb. So these are uh, much lighter. Uh, there's a little pollen. It's uh, mostly honey in these. Um, and this is a fresh crop of brood, it looks like. That comb section here, it has the cat brood, but um, yeah, they've, they've used, you know, they might have used that one for honey at some point. 
Piling them up right now. All right, yeah. We'll restore order shortly. <laughs> I see this mess of bees. So they're just kind of piling up here. Do the lizards usually stay around those nests and try to eat the bees? Yeah, they do. They, they try to pick off a few here and there. Yeah. But in the, in the scheme of things, it really Her back end is longer. The small elegance it would be, you know, she's wearing a tiara and a crown. That's a good little message. You can't you can't see what I've seen her. There's a pile of them right here. Watch this. Look at that. If you look at these bees, you'll see some are darker than uh -huh. others. And that's just because we have, you know, a good bit of bees and so the gene pool is diverse. So it's just like a mix of breeds. Mix of breed, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at distinctly two different color bees right now. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some that are kind of golden. And there's some that are dark gray with different kind of striping. It's almost like there's two colonies here, but it's not definitely varied genetics. See, a, a queen will mate with 10 to 20 drones over a period of maybe two to three days, and that's that's it. That's all she'll ever mate. You know, she may be fertile for anywhere from two to three years. They do their best work in a second year. Get some that'll surprise you. It's kind of like chickens, you know, to, to get older. You know, they're not lame, it's just, they're not quite as fertile. When she lays a fertilized egg, that'll hatch into a worker. An unfertilized egg will hatch into a drone or a male bee. The drones are kind of like on standby to mate with a queen from another colony. Nature tries to dictate against inbreeding. They're kind of like freeloaders, <laughs> the drones. Get them off of there, you know. You got to do what you got to do, you know. All right, we got one more to pick up and then we'll see if we can spot the queen. But y'all didn't think there were this many bees on here, huh? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, I didn't either. We knew there was a lot, but we didn't know there were that many. Yeah, they, they, just, they weren't real, real active today. Could be the weather, though. You know, they're not stupid insects. There's a, just a pile of them right here. Gee. Y'all see them right here? We're going to ground? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Unbelievable. How many you estimate? Uh, a couple thousand at least. You know, 2,500 mm -hmm. maybe. Not a, you know a big mature colony anything like that, but uh, more bees than what I thought. <laughs> you know, just looking at the uh, activity level, you know, yeah. pulled up. I'm glad we didn't do anything to disturb them. All. Yeah, let's see if we can spot this queen. And she's just a bigger tail. Yeah, her back end is longer. Well, you've been doing it a long time. It's hard for you to spot them. You know, it's like finding wild. Well, you know, you have to look for. Yeah. That's but, a lot but, to look through. But, see one well, bee when on you're that. looking for, you, you know, you're not looking at every bee. You're kind of, you know, taking in the, the big picture, so to speak. Uh -huh. You know, queens because they're longer, they will stand out. Now, what happens if you don't find her? We screwed. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. Like, that's pretty much what I thought. Like, yeah. if for some reason, like, we didn't get a queen or something happened to her, we're gonna, they're still gonna go in this box. But there's elements in that box that will attract. Them. Once we take the comb away, we're going to decide, hey, you know what, this is the next best thing. So she could be on that box, so they're really bunching up on the box, as you can see. No 
those little uh, cones are all full with honey. This is, no, this is brood. This is brood? honey right here, that little bit. That little bit in the end? Yeah. Let me yeah. see if I can find her. I see her. Yeah. Yeah. Got her. She's not real big either. She's small. Oh. <laughs> I got her. All right. Let me get her on camera real quick and I'll show y'all. And that little clip with that queen will go in the box. Uh huh. She's got a little striping on her and she's pretty close to their color, so it's even that much harder to find her when she looks like the rest of the gals. If you haven't been able to spot her, here's a little freeze frame for you. Right. See her? Yeah, she's a little longer. The best thing to do is take a video. Yeah, if you try to take a picture, for it's some reason, so yeah, it's hard to focus between the little, those little rungs, you know, oh, whatever you want to call the little too, ribs. Huh? Now here's another little tip for you. See how I have my camera sideways? When I make my YouTube video, this footage will fill the screen. When you hold it vertical, you have that black space. Then you gotta kind of deal with that. She's a tiny bit longer. Yeah, she's a little bit longer. Yeah, in camera. All right, well, let's go ahead and put her in the box. So our entrance was right here. So I'm not naturally I'm not going to move the box here now because there's a bunch of bees. But, what, what, yeah, right here. So we're close enough, and uh, it'll it'll take some time, but uh, we got plenty enough time. I'll come back tonight and pick them up. I'm going to reorganize. You may see them. You may may see them starting to fly around and swirling a little bit, and then you'll start to see them go in the box, and then you'll you'll probably start to see them coming and going from the box, and that's. Pure indication that hey, we've, we've picked that spot as our new home. So, all right, well, uh, that's about it. Uh, hope you all enjoyed the video, folks. I'm from JP the Bee Man in Metairie, Louisiana. Another hive removed and relocated, <laughs> and uh, from a playhouse. What you do is just kind of stick your finger down. This is honey, okay? Hold on, you just take your finger and go down in it. Oh, yeah. Very good. Very well. Good quality. You have to do it again if you want. That's pretty cool. Try it, Luke. Yeah. Come on, Luke. <laughs> You've never tried honey from a hive. It's really good. I promise really you, good. you for a treat. Oh, that's yeah. good. Wow. Mom, you want to try it? Of course you do. Oh, is, my God. This is brewed. This is developed. Let me give, get another that's piece. That's delicious. Well, actually, it's yeah. really good. Yeah. Yeah. Stick your finger in there. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Oh, that is delicious. And there's some more. Let me. Uh, that's amazing. Yeah, that's what Luke just said. Like best honey ever. Honey and lemon. All right, time to get the bees, folks. All right, let's just see what we got here, folks. Looks like they're in. All right, everybody's in. Hello, girls. Yeah, they're all in. The back looks like got a little bit on the back as well. I can't really see much, but they're in there. All right, time to go to your new place. All right, girls. See? Nothing there. All right, well, put them on the truck.